We're going to use Smart Notebook, and I've already got all of my templates and pictures ready to go over here in my content folder, so that way it's easier for me to find them. I'm going to give a couple of examples that will go along with some of the topics that I mentioned earlier in the blog that use custom animations. But remember, even if you don't teach at these more elementary levels, the same idea can be applied to your content in your grade level. So I'm going to click on my content. And let's say that I am teaching a unit on transportation. I've got this background here of the city street. Double click on it and put it in. And then I'm going to use this car and insert that in. What I want my car to do is to drive down the road. So I'm going to select it, go over here to the side to the properties, and choose object animation. The animation I'm going to choose is fly out, but I don't want my car to go from the left. I want it to go right, just like that. That's a little bit fast, though, so I'm going to slow my car down, and I do want it to be whenever the object is clicked. So now whenever I go into my Smart Notebook file, I click on my car, and he drives down the road. Now another idea could be if I am doing a unit on photosynthesis or how rain affects or watering affects plant growth, I can put in some pictures of flowers here. And I'm going to insert this droplet of water. And it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to resize it. And whenever I get it the size I want, I am going to duplicate it by hitting Command-D on my keyboard and then just move these however I want them. Just like this. Okay. Now, I want it to look like it's raining on my flowers. So I'm going to select my raindrop, go to the properties, and I'm going to choose fly in. Again, I don't want it from the left, I want it from the top. So it looks like it's coming down. I'm going to slow it down, and this time, instead of whenever the object is clicked, I'm going to change it to when the page is entered. And I do want it to look like it's raining, so I'm going to change the repeat to forever. Now, I do have to do this for every single raindrop, so it will just take me a minute here to get them all set. I'm going to make sure that I have the same settings on each one. Fly in from the top slowly. And I want to repeat forever. And now you can see how they're going at different times too. So it really does look like it's raining. So there we go. It's raining on my flowers. And just so you can see what it looks like whenever you enter the page, I'm going to exit and go back up to my city street and then come back in here. And there you go. You can see the rain's coming down on top of my flowers. And that's one way that you can use object animations and Smart Notebook to spice up presentations.